if m and n are two numbers co-prime to each other such that hcf of m and n is equal to 1 now what does that means you are dividing m with n and you have to find out the remainder m raised to power something m raised to power let me call x you have to find out the remainder now the first step should be these numbers m and n should be co-prime co-prime means if there is a common factor then take out the common factor the method that we have already learned if there's something which is common in dividend and divisor you would always take out so these rules whatever theorems we are going to study these theorems can only be applied once we take the common factor out or once we simplify the question so the first thing that we have to look at is m and h should have a hcf of 1 now the next step is do the prime factorization of n so prime factorization means again abc raised to pqr the similar thing that we have done while we were doing the question on remainders once you do prime factorization find out the euler coefficient now the value of euler coefficient would be given as this if you look at this this is the value of euler coefficient that we have phi n or the euler coefficient n is given by n into 1 minus 1 by a 1 minus 1 by b and 1 minus 1 by c this is also known as euler function or euler totient function now what are abc abc are the prime factors that we have obtained already so these are the prime factors that we have obtained now once you find out this value of euler function m raised to the power euler function when divided by n would always give a remainder of 1 that is what the Euler's theorem is now if I have to just uh, take an example for Euler theorems let's look at the question uh, that we have so if I am let's say uh, dividing 31 with uh, 6 I know 31 when divided by 6 gives me a remainder of 1 so that is very very simple thing so uh, let me take 32 32 raised to power uh, 32 raised to power 500 right this is the question that we have if I'm applying YOLO theorem every question can be done without YOLO theorems as well so but we are doing this with the help of the YOLO theorem so if I look at 6 6 is 2 into 3 what is be the value of Euler function? It will be 6, 1 minus 1 by 2 and 1 minus 1 by 3. So this will give me 6 into 1 by 2 into 2 by 3. So if I just solve it out, it gives me an answer of 2. So that means 32 square when divided with 6 would always give a remainder of plus 1. So if I have 32 raised to power something, I can always write it like this. 250 when divided by 6 would give a remainder of. Every 32 square gives a remainder of what? 1. 1 raised to power 250 would still give me a remainder of 1. So very, very important thing that you have to first look at is. Now if you look here. Is the HCF of M and N 1? No. So the way that we have applied Euler function is an incorrect way. The first thing that we have to do is divide 32 with 6. So if I look at it, 6 is what? 2 into 3. I will take 1, 2 common and I will cancel that thing out. I will not cancel that thing out but I will basically uh, move ahead and solve that thing out so if you which is which is what 32 32 is 2 raised to power 5 raised to power 500 what is it 2 raised to power 2500 divided by 2 into 3 so 1 2 will get cancelled out this no, I'll not say cancel out I'll say common 2 raised to power 2 4 9 9 divided by now if I look at it, 
every two when divided by three gives a remainder of plus two or now I'm going to write it as minus one. Minus one would be repeated two four nine nine times when divided by three. It will give me a remainder of minus one. Minus one remainder with three can be converted into a plus remainder which means it can be written as plus two. So what is the remainder that I've got now? Plus two. My final remainder would be this 2 into this 2 which is giving me an answer of 4 which is the correct answer. So if I do not cancel the thing, do not take the things common, I will get a wrong answer. This is not the correct answer that I have. This is the wrong answer that I will get. I hope the question is clear now. Or I, I hope you know how to apply Euler theorem now. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You can visit our website edusathi.com to practice more questions on this topic and access other useful information. Like us and follow us on Facebook and Twitter to get exam related information and other such updates. We wish you all the best for your preparations. Thank you and have a good day.